We continue our preview of the 2024 college football season, and our stop today is Dickinson, North Dakota, as we visit with Pete Stanton, who is heading into his 11th season with the Blue Hawks from Dickinson State. Coach, first, thank you for taking some time with us today. Another North Star Championship last season, the ninth consecutive championship, 10-2, and two, a trip to the playoffs once again. Uh, bring us up to speed on where we are by telling us a little bit uh, about last year. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. It was a, it was a great year. Our guys had a, had a great year, and you know the, the year started playing playing Rocky Mountain College in a, in a uh, in a non conference game. We lost a heartbreaker there. We decided to go for two at the end of the game. We lost by by one point. Then we were able to come back and and get a couple of wins uh, against Mayville, and then a big win against uh, uh, Wisconsin Stout on on the road. And and uh, you know then we were able to just kind of go one week at a time and. And, uh, and and get some wins and, and and put a great season together and then we we thought we had a had chance to host a playoff game and we ended up going on the road to Montana Tech and and I've had a big win out there and and uh, beat Montana Tech out there and, and rushed for close to 300 yards had a great game out there and then went to Grandview Iowa and and, and lost out there in, in in the second round so it was a outstanding year year by our guys and we really really proud of what we did last year well, and you return a lot from last season's team, too. Again, 10-2 and two record, but you return 85 players from last season's team, as well as a good recruiting class as well, signing 37 in the spring. Yeah, yeah. We we do have a lot of returners back. We had 80-plus guys uh, working out here, uh, you know, in in, sp in the spring. And and uh, this summer, we we're, we're have over 70 on campus uh, working out. So it's always nice to have a lot of those guys back and a lot of, a lot of maturity on the team and a lot, a lot of experience on the team. Let's go ahead and talk about that and talk about your offense. You bring back the offensive line, and they're going to get to protect a couple of players in the backfield that really excelled for you last year, quarterback Will Madler who had uh, threw for 62.7% passing completion. I mean, that's just fantastic. 23 touchdowns to just six interceptions, nearly a four-to-one ratio there. And Braden Zuroff coming back, too, rushed for more than 1,200 yards, 19 rushing touchdowns on the season. I mean, those are some big numbers, and to have that experience at the line, too. Tell us a little bit about that offense. Yeah, we return a lot of those good players. You know, Will was just like say about him is just what a leader he is and how efficient that he is. He takes care of the ball and and and, and does a really good job of distributing the ball out and and uh, running the offense very efficiently. And and Braden Uzeroff had a had a great year last year. Really came on and just he's just does so many things for us besides catching the ball well. A uh, very patient runner and very strong and durable. And you saw that in the playoff game where he rushed for over 220 yards in the Montana Tech uh, you know playoff game. And you know then then we return those guys up front that are that have just been really keys to that. Success. Success of being able to run the run the ball and Scotty Woodruff was a was an All American for us on the offensive line that returns and you know guys like Brandon Bennick and Will Will Rollins and and uh, Carson Lunick and on and on uh, those guys are up front do a great job and then our tight end core Galen Brantley is a returning All Conference guy as well so you know we we have a good group of tight ends led by by Galen that uh, we think feel really good about where we're at and in those areas the big thing will be replacing four quality receivers including you know Noah Sickler who was the, the North Star Offensive Player of the Year last year. We're visiting now with coach Pete Stanton who is the head football coach for Dickinson State also the director of collegiate athletics and Dickinson State winning the North Star Commissioner's Cup so congratulations on that as well uh, coach. On the defensive side of the ball Crew Mathern two-time All-American he has departed but you get a number of players back on defense too including someone who didn't play last year in Keaton Mischke a linebacker coming back and he'll be able to be a part of the of the uh, the defense in the fall yeah most definitely a good bigger very good to have Keaton back we we missed him last year and he'll have two years left for us you know in the meantime you know Brooks Talbot and and Nathaniel Jillick and, and Riley Waters, you know, all end up being all conference guys. Riley O'Donnell and Jackson Williams played a lot for us there. So our linebacking position is very, is very deep uh, in, in that spot. And, you know, we played several guys there that are returning and, you know, losing crew up front is, is a really big one for us. Matt Anderson, though, is an all conference player that returns for 
for us. And Wyatt Anderson played a lot for us as well. And then we feel good about the back end guys too. You know, we do return three out of those four starters, uh, you know, in our secondary, including Jaden Hartwell, who was, uh, who was an all conference, actually been all conference for three years. So we do return a, a very good group of guys in the, in the back end. We just, uh, you know, and you have to put some together, some things up front on the defensive defensive end, but we do have some good experience back. You know, one other player that that's returning, and all those players you mentioned. I mean, just it's what a, what a luxury, coach, to be able to bring players like that back again from uh, the experience they've had and, and being part of the the winning program. Chase Miller was your kicker last year. He's coming back. Eleven for thirteen field goals, fifty one of fifty two point afters. That's that's just, those are just incredible numbers. Yeah, he was very steady. You know, he he, uh, he just did a, as you said, tremendous job of of, of delivering. You know, in in some conditions maybe where it was maybe we had to time some games, uh, windy games, and and uh, maybe some colder games at the end of the year, and didn't really matter. He uh, he he was clutch and he he delivered and did a really good job on the kickoff sequence as well. And so we're really excited to have have him back. And and having that the kicker so big, it's always hard to start. It seems like that first year for kickers is always really hard. It's the first time, you know, they've done that and at the college level. And I think it's even going to be a better year for him, knowing he's got that year under his belt too as well. Well, Coach, you talked about the season last year and mentioned those first three games. Uh, this year, it's just a mirror look of that. It gets underway uh, as you host Rocky Mountain this time, which, by the way, next year will be a conference game for, for you all as you're headed to the Frontier Conference, then September 7th. Well, that's a Thursday night game, by the way, on August 29th. Then September 7th, back to the Saturday game. Go on the road at Mayville State. That's a North Star Conference game. And then you get Division Three Wisconsin Stout again the next week. And that will be back at home. So tell us a little bit about your season. Yeah, Rocky is always a very good, good opponent, and we had a we had a, every time we've played them, uh, it's been a really close game. You know, they they beat us in the last play last year, and we we missed a couple of years where we played them. We played Western Montana, and then we had a COVID year. But the, I think the last time we we played them prior to that, I think they beat us on a last second field goal, and then we won a game in Dickinson as well. So we've had a lot of great battles with them. They're a very very good opponent. Uh, and so that'll be a great home opener at Dickinson on a Thursday night. Then we'll out to, go out to Mayville, who's, you know, Coach Larson has done a tremendous job with that program there. These really changed the culture uh, at Mayville, Mayville State. And, you know, we had when we went out to Mayville, we had a, a knockdown a game with with those guys out there. And, and uh, they, uh, you know, they, they had a chance to even win a two or three more games kind of came down to the wire. So we expect them to to be very solid. And then Wisconsin Stout is a very solid team that we had to go uh, come from behind last year out 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 it out there to win and we're looking forward to having them and our fans have never seen Wisconsin stout they've never been out in Dickinson so we're looking to uh, look forward to playing playing them as well before we started you know they, they actually Mayville is a conference game but then with, with the rest of the conference uh, slate going in uh, it'll definitely be a, a, a very good three game start for us all right Dickinson State coming off 10 and 2 season, another North Star title, trying to win one more in, in the swan song of the North Star football schedule as it will wrap up in 2024. Lots of changes ahead following that. But in the meantime, Coach, thank you very much for taking some time with us today and previewing this season. We'll follow the Blue Hawks this year. And, and we just appreciate your time here on Midwest Sports Net. Well, thanks for having me and appreciate all you do. Appreciate it.